Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Sean and I are just making breakfast and coffee, although we woke up really late. It's already, it's exactly noon. It's 12.02, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're in the middle of doing that, but I thought I would show you. We just got an exciting delivery, and um, it's a baby item, and I'm getting very excited about baby items <laughs> lately, obviously. But yeah, I thought I would show you what we got. Okay, so this beautiful guy just arrived. This is a diaper bag, the brand K Babies. They were kind enough to send this over as a gift. And um, honestly, I am I love it. I love it so much. It's such good quality. It looks a lot more sturdy and substantial than it did on the website. Um, I really like that it comes with a changing pad. And it's super cute. Super cute. Um, I picked this out a few weeks ago when they first reached out to me and I just, we didn't know <laughs> the sex of the baby yet. Not that it really matters, but I just wanted something to be a little more neutral. So I went with gray and I think I went with their classic gray and it's gorgeous. So durable. It can be completely washed. It has all these great pockets. I think this, I need like more than two hands. This is meant for like bottles and stuff. And then the thing I really like about it is it has this wipes pocket on the side so you can like put your wipes in there and then pull them out through this slit. So yeah, overall I'm super pleased with it. Really excited to use it. And actually while I'm showing you guys baby stuff, we went to Ikea yesterday and I thought I would show you some of the things we picked up. We picked up some furniture, but we also got some fitted crib sheets. Uh, these Ikea ones, the Len, just like the white fitted crib sheets, uh, they have such good reviews online. They're just 100% cotton. They clean really well. And then I really wanted a crib skirt. I know they're totally unnecessary, but I really wanted <laughs> a cute little crib skirt. So I got this one. It's really hard to tell in the light. But it has these little, like, sheer, it's sheer and then it has these little polka dots on it. If you can see that. I think it's super cute. It'll hide the dust bunnies <laughs> under the crib. And then, um, so many people were telling me that, like, even if you don't breastfeed, you should have a breastfeeding pillow. Um, and I did a lot of research. And I was going to add one to my, um registry but then I realized they were so expensive and then this Ikea um, nursing pillow is actually so much cheaper and has such good reviews so we just picked this up while we were there it was 24 bucks it's like so firm and then look at this super adorable little cover that they have for them they're little bunnies does it get any cuter so yeah excited about these I'm gonna go pop those down into our <laughs> baby box in the basement and then the other thing we picked up was this Hemna's dresser just in their white um, this is something we wanted a dresser a white dresser to match the crib and the changing table in the nursery um, but for some reason they won't deliver this Hemna's dresser specifically like the three door the um, three drawer dresser so we just picked that up yesterday and yeah now aside from like paint and wallpaper um, a rug and some blackout blinds or curtains our nursery is pretty much good to go like with the essentials you know and then we need to like stock it and everything but um, yeah it's all coming together it's very exciting <laughs> that I would show you this has been like my staple breakfast every morning just because my nausea is still pretty consistently bad whenever I wake up. I have to keep my first meal of the day kind of simple so um, just whole wheat, whole grain toast with almond butter, some kind of fruit. Today it's a plum. We really need to eat them up and then an iced coffee and um, I say iced coffee but really there's like this much coffee in it and the rest is just almond milk. Um, but yeah, that's breakfast. <sighs> I feel like you know you're pregnant when walking down the stairs makes you feel out of breath. Just me? I don't know. God, I hope not. <laughs> um, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to the basement. You guys haven't seen a lot of this space, but I figured I would bring you down here today to show you a little bit of progress that we've made down here um, and our little laundry room built-in storage project, which is what 
we're working on again today. It is day three of this project, I think, and it's coming along really nicely. I'm excited to show you guys. So, <laughs> um, I've just come down the basement stairs. These are hideous, but they will be for a good long while while we finish the rest of the basement. Um, and then the plan is to carpet them in something pretty, but like super, super durable. Sissel, maybe, if you know what I mean. If you have any recommendations, let me know because it will need to stand up to a lot of wear and tear. Uh, yes. Anyways, not really the point. I just wanted to explain that that is just a project for another, another year, <laughs> realistically. But these are brand new walls were installed during my first trimester, so about four months ago, Sean finished them with his dad, and then just Sean's been spending the last few months just like sanding them, priming them, and painting them, and it's all gorgeous and very bright down here. The color is Cloud White by Benjamin Moore. I love it. <laughs> and um, yeah, the first project we're tackling down here is the laundry room because it's gonna be the space we use the most. Um, leading up to baby and after baby so we figured we would do this one first so here's what we're doing okay so I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs and when you come down the stairs there's this little area here and you're kind of facing right into the laundry room so so the plan here is to put a sliding barn door here it's actually coming tomorrow so I will film a little bit of that when it's being installed tomorrow it just needed to be cut to size and then when you walk in I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through the plan in here so when you walk in the goal is to easily and quickly be able to access kitchen stuff so the deep freeze is here and then this will be gone obviously there will be a floor <laughs> at some point but that's TBD we're not sure what material we want to use and then over here this will be extra pantry storage so things like canned goods dried pantry things and just like crock pots, extra bakeware, that kind of thing. So I'll explain what our solution here is in a second. Right now we have all of this baby stuff that will move because this is the part that Sean is tackling today. The washer and dryer need to be pushed back. Sean was just fixing something in behind there so there will be more of an open space here. This unit will be gone there but that won't be in here and then this is what I really wanted to show you guys. So so we have been thinking about different solutions for in here for a while now. Um, on Pinterest, we like I knew I always wanted cabinetry or like some kind of built-in storage solution that took up most of this wall. We just didn't really know what we wanted to do, like if we actually wanted to hire a cabinet maker and like have proper cabinets put in here, which maybe down the line we'll do if we stay in this house, I don't know. Um, but then I kept seeing people on Pinterest using like doing these IKEA hacks with like the Hamnes wardrobes and dressers and the Brims dressers and wardrobes, same with like the Tarva line. And lo and behold, IKEA had the Brims dressers on sale down from I think 120 or 140 to $69 yesterday. So we went and we picked up the last three Brims dressers that they had in stock. So we kind of took that as a sign that it was meant to be. So we went ahead with using the Brims series. And yeah, that's how we're going to build our little makeshift faux built-in laundry room units. These are the three separate Brims dressers. We did the three drawer. So they're all separate units. The plan is to um, put a countertop down here. Sean is actually going to Home Depot today to pick it up. We went with a very cheap option because again, this might not be the forever solution, but it's like a $70 piece of finished plywood. Um, it's a little too long, but that's okay because he can just cut it to the length we need. And we're just going to sand it, stain it, and seal it. And it should be pretty cute. I'm going for like a farmhouse feel-ish but like very clean looking and we are going to be hopefully making it so that the countertop has a lip that covers this part of the dresser just because then the seam won't be as obvious it'll look a little more like it's actually a built-in solution and then I do plan on filling in all of these seams between the dressers because I think it'll make just a smidge of difference <laughs> that maybe only I will notice but I think it'll be worth the extra effort and then, yeah, so that'll be this area. Um, Sean is also going to Ikea today 
to get some new hardware for these guys because we're not huge fans of like the default handles that come with the brims. Um, the issue is that we can't find any, <laughs> they're such a strange size that I can't find any online or at like Home Depot that fit the pre-drilled holes. So we are going to have to go with other Ikea handles, maybe just something black. We'll see what he finds. I'm going to leave it up to him. And then over here, I'm really excited about what's happening today. So we did the three brims dressers. And then we decided for this area to try a brims wardrobe. So we picked up the two-door wardrobe that kind of opens like French doors. And the idea is to, instead of like walling in this pole, which can never move, it's very necessary to the structural integrity of this house. It holds it up, um, but we don't want to see it. Sean is going to build the brims wardrobe in here and then this pole will be hidden inside of the wardrobe. Good morning, good morning. It is a brand new day. Actually, good afternoon. It's 12, 11, so <laughs> the days pretty much have gone. I just woke up maybe like an hour ago though. I had a very rough night, you know? Um, but that's okay, I'm feeling energized today and I'm excited. We just got a bunch of stuff dropped off. Um, for the house, so I have some projects to do this afternoon, so I thought I would show you what we have going on today. So I think I already showed you guys that's the, well, the plywood piece that we're going to be using for our laundry room countertop. Um, our door is now here, so this is the sliding barn door that is going to be on the laundry room. And then we also got banisters. So here is one for the basement, basement, basement stairs, and here is the other one. And I think most of my day, oops, sorry, that was the front door. I think most of my day is going to be staining all of these. So we're staining them all with this, which is a Verithane One Step Stain and Polyurethane in Mission Oak. I have just put what I think is the very last coat of Verithane on those stairwell banisters, but now I have to get it all off of me. Soap and water does not do the trick, so I'm gonna try some nail polish remover. Wish me luck. So this is the the brims. The brims. This is what he's building right now. So it's the like the two door, like the French door style brims wardrobe, I believe. So the plan is to build this wardrobe right in here. Okay, so here is where we're at right now. Sean is struggling a little bit because he needs to build this unit around the pole, which you can see he measured really well, so it just perfectly fits in here. It's just so good. <laughs> He's very proud of him, so. <laughs> um, but basically you're building it backwards, right? Because... And upside down.
Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I think it's quite long. I mean, we'll see, I'm in the middle of editing it. I'm just sitting at the kitchen table. I have banana bread in the oven. I'm drinking a glorious cup of tea. And um, yeah, it's like 9.30, 9.41. PM. So I will say goodbye here. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That would really help out my channel in this video and comment down below. Let me know what you think of our uh, laundry room DIY makeover. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.